This video is going to talk through doing the calibration of the metalizer so that then you can go and do a VAT max test or lactate threshold test. The gas analyzer needs to be turned on for about 30 minutes prior to you doing any test to enable it to warm up. Initially, you need to load up the Metasoft software in the laptop and start the calibration process. As you can see on the left hand side of the screen, there's a series of calibration tests. You first click on the pressure icon. You then need to read the pressure on the weather station in the lab and input the value in the actual pressure box and then press start. Once this has happened, you then press transfer and then it closes. You can then click on the gas on the left hand menu and you need to ensure the sample line is not plugged into the flow sensor. First you'll be measuring the concentration of ambient air and so you press start gas one. You will see there are two lines going across the screen. One is for oxygen and the other is for carbon dioxide. Once they produce a straight line for a certain period of time, the metalizer accepts a calibration and allows you to move on to gas two. This gas is collected from a gas cylinder and it's a certain percentage of oxygen and carbon dioxide. You need to connect the valve to the gas cylinder and then connect the gas bag to the valve. You must first empty the gas from the bag before you connect it. Turn the gas on and the bag will fill with gas. Once there's sufficient gas in the bag, you turn the cylinder off and stop the tube to prevent gas from either entering or leaving the bag. Take the valve off the cylinder so that the gas does not escape. Take the filled bag back to the gas analyzer and place the sample line into the tubing of the bag and release the stop. Then back to the computer, click on Start Gas 2. The same process as before will occur with the lines going across the screen. This process can sometimes take quite a long time and it's just about being patient. Once the calibration is complete, you click on transfer and then close the window. So you can put the gas sample bag away and set up the equipment ready for the flow sensor. Um, so you need to connect the flow sensor to the uh, wire that comes out of the metalizer. And then there's a hole at the top of the flow sensor um, which you need to use a little plug to block. Um, so now you calibrate the volume. So you go to the computer and you click on the volume button on the left hand menu on the screen. You click start and then you're going to need to pull out five strokes on the gas cylinder. You've got to try and pull them in time to the bar that is moving across the screen. Once you've done one that um, 
registers, you'll see on the right hand side of the box um, two bars coming up and that shows that one stroke is registered and you've got to get five of them but they will only register if you're in time to the bars moving. Once completed, you can click on transfer and then you click close. Now you're ready to set up the test for your participant. You click on the CPX testing on the left hand menu and the next screen appears. Then you click on the box at the top left which shows a picture of a person with a screen behind it. This is for a new test subject. You need to enter details into boxes with an asterisk. So we never use their real name and we often use initials or participant number. So you'll need to input their date of birth as well as the height and weight. As you'll see, these are the boxes with the asterisks. You'll also need to choose a physical activity level as well as a mask size. You can find the size of the mask at the bottom of the, on the front of the mask itself. Once this is completed, click close and you are ready to go.